It's a fascination shared by Paul Daniels, a master of mask making. It all comes down to, I think the people that buy are trying to relate it with something. You know, something they were afraid of as a child. Ghost goblins, witches, vampires. That's where my base is. Entering Paul's studio on the outskirts of Chicago is like paying a visit to the Crypt Keeper. A ghoulish collection of evil faces peers out at you from all angles, especially some of the most hellish looking clowns never to grace Barnum and Bailey. The clown connection with me started out because I was a professional clown for like 15 years. I studied clowns and I've studied different types of makeup and I saw that I can make it look really, really creepy. Paul's become one of the most respected masketeers in the world. Because each of his masks is handcrafted, he sells fewer than a thousand a year, mostly to collectors who appreciate the artistry. But anyone can own a Paul Daniels mask. Prices range from $50 to $150. And Paul is constantly adding new creatures to his dark cast of characters. Bringing a new ghoul to life can take well over a month. It begins with a clay model. We have a sculpture of a clown that we started up this morning. I've been working on these teeth. Just, I'm looking for more of a sharp tooth type of thing. We've made the, the brows really deep and the eyes are inset into the face. I want to make the nose a little bit bigger. Once he has the sculpture finished to his liking, he coats it with plaster. Then the plaster is allowed to harden. You can take all your clay out of the mold and it is a negative now of your original sculpture. Next process is we're going to cast a latex mask out of a plaster mold. So we're going to pour latex. And then you pour it back into your bucket. And you take your airbrush and you blow out the air bubbles. He repeats the process several times to build up layers of latex. This step, we are going to demold a latex mask out of a mold. This has been drying for 24 hours. There is a perfectly good latex mask. Next, Paul adds his special touch of evil. And all we'll do is we'll put a little dot in the middle. And now you have a monster eye. The other eye. Some work around the lips. And finally, teeth whitening the easy way. So how does he know when he's done a good job? Anytime I get finished and I'm looking at it and I, I just end up getting a little, a little chill. Of course, it may be art to Paul. But to most kids, donning a mask and going ghoulish on Halloween is just a means to a very important end.